Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here with TFL, and I'm here in Santa Monica with the new 2022 Acura RDX. For this year, Acura has made a number of changes to this vehicle, so in this video, we're gonna go for a little walk around and show you everything that's new. All right, let's start with style because this did get a facelift and we'll start right up front because that's where the most obvious changes are. So the grill is pretty similar to what we saw uh, last year, but it has been slightly tweaked and the surround around the grill has been redone as well. Uh, one of the bigger differences you'll note are the air intakes on the left and right side of the vehicle, totally reshaped and this is just uh, meant to give it a little bit of a wider look and make it look a little bit more aggressive. A lot of the front end matches the new MDX, so uh, clearly they're trying to make the two vehicles resemble each other. Uh, one of the other differences you'll note are the fog lights down here. They have been redesigned for 2022 as well. And then if we come around to the side, some of the models are getting new wheel designs this year. These are 20 inch wheels. And then if we go along to the back, pretty similar. Uh, but one thing to note is the exhaust pipes. This is the A-spec version of the RDX. So it has round exhaust pipes, but if you get any other model besides the A-spec, it's gonna have these new rectangular exhaust tips. And lastly for style, this is the classic A-spec blue. That's not the official name for it, but Acura does love to show off the A-spec in this color. And I can see why, it's really pretty. It looks good in all lighting conditions, but there is another blue you can get the RDX in, which is Long Beach Blue Pearl. And that's only available on the PMC edition so very limited but if you want a Acura RDX in a color that matches the NSX that's the one to go for. Taking a look under the hood this is all pretty similar this is a two liter turbo four cylinder that makes 272 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque it's mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and it is available with super handling all wheel drive. Front wheel drive is standard. What has been retuned are the drive modes. You have this dynamic mode knob right here and if you cycle through that, you can see the different modes pop up here on the screen. So we have sport, normal, comfort and snow that you can choose between and Acura says that the difference between all these different drive modes is more noticeable this year so you're going to feel more of a difference when you're switching between those modes and as far as what the modes does it adjusts the tuning of the powertrain steering suspension and also the new interior lighting and not just the drive modes have been retuned also the adaptive dampers on this vehicle have been retuned as well All right, now moving into the interior of the new RDX, one of the first things you'll notice is this new interior color, which Acura is calling Orchid, has a lot of contrast with this white leather and the black piping and the black inserts that run through it, black dash as well, and I think it looks pretty good. Hit the starter button right here, let the vehicle come to life. One of the main focuses for this year on this interior is the tech they're putting into it. And uh, before I jump into all that tech, I do wanna say I applaud Acura for using analog uh, tachometer and speedometer gauges in the cluster here, especially in an A-spec vehicle like this when it's supposed to be sporty, that just helps seal the deal for me. So I really like that. But moving on to the tech they added, one of the first things is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I don't have it hooked up right now, but if you're a big CarPlay person, you now have wireless capability on that. You still can use wired Apple CarPlay with the USB-A port right here, but if you look under the uh, console right here, there's actually a new USB-C port, which can only be used for charging, so this won't transfer data. You can't use it for playing music and using CarPlay, uh, but at least you do have the option to charge via USB-C this year. And then looking right below that, you have a Qi wireless charger that's available as an option. Uh, so you can just plop your phone down here and let it charge, hook up Apple wireless CarPlay, and have no cables that you need to worry about. There's also been a focus on premium materials on some of the top trims, so more aluminum and ultra suede finishes throughout the vehicle. And a new ambient lighting system is available as well, although it's really hard to see here in this bright LA sunlight. Uh, but for example, I'm in normal mode right now. You can see see a little bit of white popping through here and if I switch it into sport mode 
that will actually turn red. So that's one of the areas we'll, where you'll see accent colors coming through. And Acura says that this cabin is actually quieter on the road. And one of the ways they've achieved that is through using acoustic glass. And that's across all trims, although it gets quieter uh, and more refined the more you work your way up in the trims. Besides that, everything looks pretty similar. So the clusters pretty much all the same. Steering wheel controls all look very similar as well as everything in the middle here. You still have this widescreen up top, uh, push button transmission right here, drive modes, all your climate control, physical volume knob right there, and then your uh, touchpad for interacting with this system up here. Cup holders behind this little sliding panel right here, spot to put your phone, a little bit of storage here, and that about does it for the interior. And back seat space is identical to what we saw last year, but you do have USB-C back here for your rear seat passengers. Let's pop the trunk real quick and just take a look. This is pretty much unchanged, uh, but just in case you haven't seen the back of an RDX, we'll take a quick peek. I've got my camera bag back here just to give you a little bit of a sense for what kind of storage you get. Really deep pockets on the left side here for throwing some extra things. I've got my water bottle in there right now along with some notes. Uh, and then you can fold the seats down just by pulling these levers right here and it folds very flat with lots of space. So good amount of utility in this RDX. Now it's no secret that Acura and Honda have been pushing pretty hard on safety tech. So you get Acura watch, collision mitigation, braking, forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, road departure mitigation. But there's a few things new for 2022 that you can get, which are traffic sign recognition, blind spot indicators, rear seat seatbelt reminders, and low speed autonomous emergency braking. It's never a bad thing to see more safety tech on a vehicle and obviously Acura Acura is pushing pretty hard with that. Now here's the key for this RDX and I wanted to show it to you because Acura has a new and pretty clever remote start system built into this new RDX. Uh, first of all, it works at a much further distance than most remote start systems. Most work at a distance of about 100 yards. Acura says this works at least a quarter mile away, uh, which is more than four times the distance of most of those systems. But the reason I think it's really cool is it has LEDs built into the key. So if you're that far away, you might not be able to see your headlights or your hazards flashing to let you know the vehicle actually did start. Uh, and that's where this key comes in handy. So so if I hold the start button right here, it'll flash yellow a few times. You just heard the engine start and then it will turn green to let you know that the engine is running in case you can't see your car. Really clever feature. When you hold it again, it will turn red to let you know that the car has been turned off. I think that's a really cool feature. For this year, there's a new top level trim, which is what you're looking at right here. It is the A-Spec plus the Advanced Package. So now you can get the A-Spec, the sporty one, with all the premium features that you would get on the Advanced Package, which are a heads-up display, surround view camera, heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, and the adaptive damper system. And there's also that RDX PMC edition, which is limited to 200 units, but it's hand assembled alongside the NSX at the Performance Manufacturing Center, hence the name PMC, in Ohio. It only comes in one colorway, that Long Beach Blue Pearl, with the Orchid Milano leather interior, same color as the NSX, and the trim is going to be exactly what you see in front of me right here, A-spec style, and advanced package uh, but it also gets some body color and gloss black accents unique 20 inch wheels dark chrome exhaust tips and a unique number plate in the interior So there you go, there's everything that's new on this revised 2022 Acura RDX. This is a vehicle that competes in a very competitive segment against vehicles like the Audi Q5 and the BMW X3, but I've always liked the RDX and for this year they've made it just that much better and I think it's a very appealing package. It starts at $39,300. This one you see here, the A-Spec with the Advanced Package starts at $51,300 and they'll be available this month in November. So there you go. There's a quick look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.